welcome to episode 41 of Unqualified Game Chat. I am your host, Azara Lopez, and with me today, as always, my gorgeous, my beautiful, my precious, Spencer, the Legacy. Hello, everyone. It's me, Spencer, the Legacy. And azara has got a little bit of uh, vocal fry going on. It's got, yeah. it's got a little bit of a sultry, hey, everyone. I was... Is, solid Azario. It must have been the karaoke. It must have been. Yeah. I was all the Casey and JoJo. Uh, it just. I filled. I filled that karaoke bar with emotion that they that they've never experienced before. And and who but a thirty two year old nerd goes to a karaoke bar on a Tuesday night? <laughs> yeah, that's a good night. But me. Um, you know, you know what drove me to go out though? What? Fucking, uh, Grand Theft Auto (laughs) trilogy, (laughs) legacy, (laughs) whatever. I just, I didn't want to play it so much. I'm supposed to be, uh, reviewing it and I didn't want to play it so much that I forced myself to like leave. Nice. And, uh, I didn't, I don't care. I don't care. We'll get it. We'll get into the yeah, logistics. We'll yeah, we'll save. We'll save it for the the discussion. But I just mm-hmm. wanted to. I just wanted to preface why. I know. I know. Every night, you guys need to know that I'm working and that I'm creating stuff. Azario, oh, you're not working. You've been. Wor- you've only worked sixty hours this week. Are you fucking kidding me right now, Azario? Azario, you've, you've changed ever since you moved. You've changed. You haven't been the, the same person. Azario. I miss the old house. Just got off the Peloton, Azario. That's. The- <laughs> I don't think the I don't think the listeners knew about that, Azario. They but- not. Oh, is that only pre-show shit? <laughs> uh, there have been times where I was like, "Hey, just let me get in a forty-five minute ride, and then I'll take a shower, and then I'll get on." <laughs> but yeah, I Azario lore drop. Yeah, I had to, I took a shower before this uh, podcast for sure. Just to be so, just to be prepared, you know? Yeah. Just be prepared. I've been staring at my video games behind me since I put them up because I ended up getting a third shelf and oh, I, yeah. I, evidently I need a fourth one set up, but... um, There's enough room. Yeah. No, no, there's a door right there. Oh, the, okay. But I, I should be moving to the garage at some point. And so that will, um, that will clear things up. We're nice. turning into like a studio. And that's an exclusive. Oh. That's a podcast exclusive. Oh, ex- I didn't even know that, folks. That's exciting. It, and it's going to also double as uh, Spencer's Hobbit Hole. Yes. He's going to live forever. I'll, I'll, I'll be there with my big hairy feet playing video games for Noisy Pixel. Mm, mm, mm. It's going to be exciting. Well, Spencer, let's get into the show. And as you know, it's mm. recorded every week posted to podcast services on iTunes and Spotify and iHeartRadio. I I think everywhere, everywhere, the RSS feed. I don't know much about what an RSS feed is, but I know people are subscribed to that. I used to know what they were. When I made a podcast, I had a XML editor to, to update my RSS feed and my iTunes page. Dude, you're but, dropping some you're dropping some terminology on the on the listeners right now. Any of it. <laughs> I you don't gotta, remember how any of it worked. You gotta push those updates, dude. You gotta Yep. I under I understand. I got you. RSS mm-hmm. uh what at one point for like four months the noisy pixel RSS feed was broken. Mm-hmm. And this one person kept emailing us, hey, your RSS feed isn't updating, so I can't read your articles. Um, the, the, the negative about reading articles from an RSS feed is that you will never, I mean, the, ne- the negative for us, positive for you, is that you don't see uh, ads yeah. when, when you're looking at an RSS reader. You just revealed the secret to everyone. I know, I know. Well, there it is. Um, there it is. So in my head, I was like, "Well, that's not really something I want to fix right away." <laughs> <laughs> um, but I remember that the the issue was that uh, the 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 website's cache wasn't updating, and mm-hmm. it, well, it was updating, but that page, that static RSS page, 
was getting caught in the cash and it's not supposed to. It's uh, uh, semantics, semantics. It's, it's all technical jargon. It's all know, technical for, for jargon. Tech bros. Yeah. Yeah. The, the listeners will know. But uh, enough about that. Enough about that. What have you been playing? Well, I have been playing uh, to, to prepare for my next video. I've mm. been playing the Guardians of the Galaxy game that came out this year. Oh, and it's a pleasant surprise. I am Groot. He does say that quite that's, a few times. With that's a quote. Opinions. That's a quote from the movie. I see you're a bit of a guardian's head. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't. I don't. I don't like how they how the game borrows the same characters from the movie. But I understand why they did it's, it. They're actually a bit different. Like the game is more about. Like the characters are, are all like veterans of a of an intergalactic war. So mm. they're they're they kind of bond through trauma in a different way than they do in the movie. So they have similar characterization, but it's a mesh of the comic versions with the movie versions. Mm. It's very competently done. Like it, it'd be very easy to just be like, oh, it's it's the movie ones. There's Dr- Drax is funny, haha, and Star Lord's uh arrogant. But they actually, they, they feel different enough that I'm like, oh, I'd be okay with some of these changes being applied to the movies because mm. these are uh, these are really fun versions. But overall, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, the, the, the combat is very enjoyable and it evolves at an interesting rate. Uh, the, like, there's always new things to find in it, like new costumes that are actually well done unlike in the avengers game where they don't always look so great um i that, I that is think, ridiculous the costumes yes, yeah some of those costumes are rough like yeah. it's and it boggles my mind because the source material is like so clear but yeah it's it's as if they got some like uh gen z like tiktoker and been like yeah. So, some community manager and be like, "Hey, the the um, the costumes are, are your gig. You know fashion." Yeah, and yeah, pretty much. Like PJs and shit. Yeah, weird weird outfit with shirts. Colors. I don't know if this. I'm pretty sure something's like, but shirts that like say like stupid things like, "I need coffee" or something like that. Or <laughs> just, oh God, just like random shit. Cool epic relatable shirts but i want to talk about uh guardians in this game you mostly play a star lord you only play star lord as far yeah and then um which i don't mind he's my favorite so yeah how how did you feel about just seeing the kind of the whole narrative play out through his eyes how was that i think it's kind of it makes sense because a lot of the supporting characters are involved with him so it feels like he has the most personal stakes and everyone else, while they do have stakes in it, are helping because they're, you know, he's their leader, he's their friend, that kind of thing. Um, so I don't mind, especially because, like I said, Star Lord is my favorite character from it. So I don't mind. And it also kind of feels like you are, in a way, controlling the others when you order them to do specific attacks or do specific abilities. So I don't mind it. I think I would rather have this very, like, polished uh, Star Lord gameplay than five different gameplay styles that aren't Mm. really like great. Mm -hmm. Um, So I don't mind it at all. And I've, I've really been enjoying it so far. I'm, I'm, I'm more than half done. I think I'm two thirds done or three quarters. It's like an eight hour game, right? 12 hours. Apparently it's like 15 to 20. Ooh. Okay. But it, it hasn't dragged it all yet. Like I, I, there weren't any parts where I was like, Oh, like this, this could be cut Mm -hmm. so far. Um, but I've just been having a really solid time with it. So I, I've uh I recommend it if people are looking at it and thinking maybe. Although it'll probably go on sale because it's the kind of game that like it's it's not a Nintendo game, it's not gonna be 80 bucks forever. So like maybe ask for it for Christmas. Yeah, it's, it's it's on my it's on my black Friday. I can get a code. I just I want the physical. I could get a code, but I it's it's 80 bucks. I have 80 bucks. Is it $80? Mario Bourgeois Lopez. Is it $80? Uh, is it? Uh, well, it's 80 Canadian. Oh, you know. We it's have different sick, money. It's 60 here. Come on. Yeah. You got you to. Gotta, 
You can't do that to the, the listeners, dude. You're freaking them out over here thinking they have to pay close to $100 well, listen, for a our shitty Canadian game. Listeners, our Canadian listeners, they, they're they, fucking they stoked. Go, they're like, oh, uh, I feel that. I feel that. I feel that with our crazy money. <laughs> Man, $80. Yeah. That's like, <sighs> what could I get with $80? I can buy a game in a bit. I could buy a, an air fryer with $80. It's true. You could buy a full price game and a whole lot of snacks. Ooh, yeah, the the popcorn buckets. The popcorn where it's like, bucket. Where it's like movie, and it has like you put the popcorn bucket in. Yeah, and it pops, and and the the two liter diet coke, mm. or Coke Zero. Yeah, Coke uh, Zero, all the time. You know, you could all you could get all sorts of things with eighty bucks, but here in Canada, that just gets you a game. That's it. <laughs> I was at the store today, and I saw the steel case of Shin Megami Tensei Five. Ooh, it was eighty bucks, and I said. Do I eat or do I buy this video I game? I decided to be responsible, but damn, if it was sixty, it would have been a lot more appealing. <laughs> really, really? I like, hey, twenty bucks? Uh, that's not bad, dude. I'll but... give you twenty dollars if you want that game. No, I'm hey, sorry, you're too. All the, all the, if you know, just to make you shut the fuck up about SMT five. <laughs> What do you mean? Shut you're the like, fuck up about it. blah blah blah. Oh, talk to my ear off. Shin Megami Tensei. This I, I went to the store I today. I can't now. buy it. I don't have money. Why? Are you... Wow, <laughs> so aggressive. No, I'm trying dude, to I compete can... with last week. What? <laughs> I got you, dude. I got so you, dude. I got you, dude. I'll, no, I'll... You, you know what? You would do it. You would hold it over me. You'd be like, <laughs> yeah. remember that time? Like, you like a year bucks. from now? <laughs> hey, dude, uh, remember that time I gave you $20? Kind of kind of needing that back. <laughs> like, Rosario, it's just really expensive to fly out. I gave you 20 bucks. Hey, did you have a good time with SMT5? Did you invest that 20 bucks, baby? Because, <laughs> uh, it sounds, yeah. like, sounds like something I would do. <laughs> uh well i just picture me sending a messenger chat is, uh, oh zario can you help me out with this and then you go like, no <laughs> <laughs> anytime no, any, Zario's it, a very generous man He's anytime like, you need 20 dollars just ask just ask when i'm when i'm about to have my knees broken by scary men they say just what, ask, 20 dollars Say one sec, Azario Venmo me, please. <laughs> it, well, when it converts, wouldn't it be more in Canada? Like 30 like, bucks. I'm, so I'm actually sending you more money than $20. Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, it's equivalent, but to me, uh, so. to me, it, to me, it's a lot more. No, to you, it's less. Oh, it's, yes, yes, yes. To me, it's less. Thing. <laughs> You're absolutely right. <laughs> Um, but enough what about is, SMT5. Is, yeah. So I'm glad you're having fun with Guardians because it's a surprisingly fun game that I that I was willing to nay um, the month yeah, before. You did. you did. And I'll say that it is uh, it's not a nay. It's not a nay. For how late into or how close to its release it was announced, very surprised. Mm. Mm. Not a nay. Um, I've been playing. Uh, so so besides Grand Theft auto the trilogy i've been playing call of duty <laughs> mm, classic is our, this is this is a mid 2000s azario yeah on. coming back coming back full circle i'm not ha- i'm not having fun with it i can't <laughs> so it is still mid 2000s gamer tournament fighting the kid who beat him azario <laughs> i wish i wish that i was too because like i I'm, i booted up i played for a couple hours and i'm playing through matches and i played through the campaign but it's I feel like I keep playing the same maps that I've played for years before. And then I realize a lot of them are just like remasters of old maps. Hmm. And I'm thinking like, I don't like this Give me, I'd rather have new maps than just replaying these old world at war and maps. Like that the I've, opposite of what people are saying with Halo, where they're like, I want some of the old maps back. That's interesting. Everybody, everybody wants to push back on the new, but I'm here to accept it. You know, nice. we're, we're too in this. Uh, I understand nostalgia and how it grabs you, mm-hmm. but I don't think pigeonholing uh, developers and forcing them to do the same thing over and over and over again is, yeah. is okay. And it creates this system of, of zero growth within any, I mean, anything you have an RPG like dungeon encounters being, um, 
being put down because it doesn't have graphics, high graphics, you know? Yeah. But but the RPG elements in this game are really rad. They're like super mm-hmm. deep. They have great uh character systems. Um and that's and that's where I'm at with with uh with Call of Duty. It's like I mean it, it's fine, but it's nothing, it's nothing different than the last world at world war two, or it's a lot like world war two. What was the last, what was the last one? Uh, some... uh, cold war, cold war. Yes. Yeah. It's nothing like cold war. It's a lot more like the world war two yeah. without the, without the, <laughs> the, the loot boxes that you throw down on the ground. Fucking the beach. Oh my God. <sighs> And I just I can wow. when I hear that I can hear the sound. <laughs> what did I get? Wild. What did I get? What did I get in Normandy? Ah, uh, the same gun, same LMG. Classic. Um, but I've been playing a lot of that, and I I can't write a review on it because I just don't know what I'm working towards. Typically, in a Call of Duty game, I know. I understand what I'm playing the multiplayer for, mm-hmm. but it's so similar to last year's that I mean the matches run quicker, but in 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 actuality, there's nothing really I like about the. I don't like the loadouts. I don't like the load. I I liked the uh, Cold War loadouts a lot better, to be honest with you, like the wild oh, cards yeah. and all that. Um, but. Uh, but other than that, we're gonna go into our um, a discussion about uh, our discussion uh, Grand Theft Autos. Yes, and this is to do because I have been playing the uh, remastered uh, trilogy, and it's terrible. Remastered. Yeah, it's terrible. Um, it's as bad as people are. It's it's as bad as people are saying it is. But the reasons that I'm thinking it's bad aren't aren't necessarily because of the glitches or anything. It, it just feels like they removed the the uh, the personality that those games had. Did you see those all the signs that were redone with AI? No, I so didn't. It's, so it's like they they the AI I guess just like read the signs, but because it was like low texture quality, it replicated them wrong. So like instead of saying like air guitars on sale one fifty, it's like AR guitar on sale one like the jokes are dead because oh my gosh the ai like didn't read them properly it's it's wild people so they are did, saying it's this year's cyberpunk they did like a smoothing technique on it or something right and yeah it kind of cell shaded the stuff but the textures are completely lost it feels like you're it feels like you're um navigating like a an early alpha game Mm-hmm. There's they've removed uh, you, you, you the the road is just, it feels like you're just it's just gray and what's worse is like the cars control disgustingly. Um, Was it like that in the original? Like the control of the car? Or? I don't remember it being that hard. I don't remember like a turn. Every car just completely turning me around like I'm floating. Like I'm yeah. Um, uh, the, the shooting mechanics are, are just as bad as they were on PlayStation two, to be honest with you. Um, and those get better with each, with Vice City and San Andreas, um, San Andreas being probably the best one. Um, yeah. but, but, but the ugliest as well, um, in terms of the whole quality of the, uh, remaster, because that should have been, that should have been the best looking one. And I feel like they're all equally as ugly. And the the like environments of the first one, it it just doesn't it looks terrible. And then when it rains, oh my god, it looks Oh yeah, it goes like under the ocean texture. Oh my god, it's fucking ridiculous. Oh I, I and I'm playing and I'm like I can play through all three of those games in my head. That's how many times I've played these games. Wow. You know, I can, I know all the characters. I know how to, to progress the story quickly. I've, I've watched many speed runs, but I don't think a lot of the tricks work here, but, um, but it, it's, a, uh, you know, there's, uh, 
these are the these are the Grand Theft Autos that I liked growing up. I didn't like the hyper realistic ones when four came out. I was like, uh, okay, it's kind of cool, but yeah, I don't like the more like cartoonish, cartoonish. Yeah, and I I liked the growing up with this series. It was like. I remember first playing Grand Theft Auto 3 and thinking, holy shit, this is like the future of gaming. You know, this yeah. is like, and it's I weird that from a lot of people. Yeah. It's it, and coming from Grand Theft Auto 2, where you're like over the head and yeah. not really. And the now in Grand Theft Auto 3, like, dude, I, I used to do the, you pick up prostitutes. You just, and it's all this whole debate thing. It, it opened up all these like, games are are hurting kids you know it's so funny how what was his name oh the famous lawyer yeah Jack that one. thompson yeah yeah that, that's Tom. where he got his start wasn't it uh, is it yeah and it, it just it just uh it's incredible it's just it was an incredible series and playing it now hurts me and i, I just i i want to know if uh as as someone new to the series as you are, um, not yeah. really playing, hearing all this shit, how do you feel? Like well, you'll never play it, I'm sure. It makes me wish they didn't take the originals off the store. Yeah, that sucks. That, that was maybe a bad move on their part because, so, growing up, I was a very respectful, polite young boy. Mm. I was told, mm. you know, I didn't step out of the line. Mm. So when my parents were like, "You can't play that. That's inappropriate." you're only 10 or 12 i was like all right fair game i'll just go back to kingdom hearts i'll Whatever. just play uh, mega man legends again play, yeah I'll just, I'll just play mega man battle network <laughs> uh, so i didn't play until like i played four at a friend's house and then five with my brother um but i know that the games that have been remastered have a huge reputation like people like like San Andreas was so huge in like the cultural zenith, zen, mm. whatever. Like I remember like a Dave Chappelle sketch, like about Tupac not being dead, where the joke is he's saying stuff from after he died, and he he, he compares something to CJ from San Andreas, and I was like, wow, that that's a big game. If like a like regular comedian dude is like referencing like wild. Yeah. Because yeah. this is like especially back then this was the era where like when a, a character was playing a game on a show they'd be like i'm playing mario brothers and they'd have a ps1 controller and it would be making pac-man sounds yeah they'd be <laughs> going like this the they'd control like this they'd be like <laughs> final fantasy 8 is on screen and they're playing with like a dreamcast <laughs> controller um and it's like two of them playing so i was like okay so these games you know they're they're big like and and like i said people would tell me like this is the future of games this is that's how i felt when they came out so <laughs> this seems really shitty towards the legacy that these games have left like mm-hmm. this the is original it versions might be flawed now because of like time just makes the like the shooting and everything more antiquated mm-hmm. but they're still like products of their time and that they're they they represent the reputation they had back then so you can play it and even though you might be like this is kind of clunky you can appreciate it uh and so remaking it might be a good idea for bringing it towards like a new generation but you have to do it well or else you end up like this yeah and it doesn't turn me off of like ever playing it i'm not playing the remakes unless they get a a no man's sky glow up which i doubt Mm. um but it it sure does make me feel feel terrible for people who are big fans of these games because like i'm not heavily emotionally invested in grand theft auto so i can kind of have an outsider's perspective of like oh that sucks Mm. but damn like i thought it was bad when like omega ruby and alpha sapphire came out and they like didn't have the battle frontier and everyone was like damn this is a remake it's supposed to have more but like compared to this that's amazing. So yeah. I I truly feel for GTA fans. It like I said, it, it 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 has lost its entire personality while playing through these games. They mm-hmm. they it just looks off. It's like you're playing in like a Twilight Zone version of them, yeah. where it's everything's really bright and smooth, and there's there's no immersion and there's no sense of uh, 
wanting to even play. There's no, there's nothing to be like, oh, this is the way I want to play Grand Theft Auto. And I feel like, I feel like somebody presented them with some AI that smoothed off all the textures, made them HD really fast. Yeah. And oh, they're yeah, like, probably. they're like, you know what? If it's going to cost us a thousand dollars, it's not probably going to cost a thousand dollars, but if it's going to cost us a thousand dollars to just smooth all the games and we'll release them each ho, oh, we'll make money regardless if yeah. it's bad or not. Mm-hmm. They, they could do very little quality testing, especially if they're only doing visuals because they did nothing with the physics. They did nothing with the, uh, the overall enjoyment factor of the game. It's the same games with a nice uh, texture pack. And I can't wait. I can't, I can't wait till like a, a modding community does it better on PC. You know, I, I just, oh, yeah. I just can't wait to just be like, look at rockstar. Like <laughs> this is how you were supposed to do something. And I'm sure like the developers at the company, feel the same way and it all yeah. comes down it all comes down to money i'm sure they they knew what it was like it's the same as cyberpunk where they were like this isn't ready but we have to put it out because of shareholders or whatever yeah yeah so i i feel bad for the devs too yeah and cyberpunk was a shitty game I but you know you, you know it was you know it was also pretty shitty andromeda and uh um, oh, yeah i remember the Kroby cat video yeah but it but even even like I mean, that came and went. People still talk about cyberpunk. We kind of forgot about Andromeda, but... Um, I think it's because did Andromeda, Andromeda have that hype behind it that cyberpunk had? Like, cyberpunk it, had a decade of hype. Yeah, it didn't have the hype. But it just yeah. had it just had the same flop effect. And Mass Effect fans can go back to, like, especially now that there's remastered versions, they can, mm-hmm. they can go back to their good games from their series. But yeah. cyberpunk, like, you can't go back to Witcher because it's not the same environment or series at all. Mm-hmm. So you're just kind of like, oh, this thing that I wanted that was going to be like the first of its kind like this. <laughs> you're just like, oh, okay, now what? Yeah, it's incredible. I, I, It's almost been a year and I have not played Cyberpunk. Same here. I haven't touched it. And it, just the, the lead up to a game like that and its release and how like everyone was so hyped on it. People were convinced it was going to be the best game ever made. You can't do that end all be all shit, dude. You yeah. can't. You risky. can't, because if it, if that was the case, a game like Tales of Arise and Metroid Dread this year for for me would have been like, oh, those are the games I'm looking forward to the most. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, Bravely Default Two came out this year. You know, like that was this year. Yeah, Neo. Oh, uh, a long year. Oh, yeah, Neo near, uh, yeah. near uh, replicant. Yeah, a near replicant version, whatever. Like that's nuts, dude. That is nuts. There's so many. There was so many games that are a little more deserving of this end all be all. But I think, I think what people like is that Skyrim type of deal where where you can buy a game and play it forever. Yeah. Now, there, definitely love that. We're we're kind of the odd ones out where we are constantly moving on from game to game. Yeah, but someone with one game a month, one game every two months, um, they really do get the most out of it, you know? They do, yeah. And I, and it's, uh, if you bought Cyberpunk at launch and that's that was your game for the next three months, I'd be pretty upset too. I'd be, yeah. I completely uh, empathize with that. That Because mm-hmm. that was me when before I did this job. Like, I remember getting like two games a year when I was like a teenager, young adult. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, Okay, this year I'm getting Portal 2 and Arkham City. So mm-hmm. those better be good. <laughs> like mm-hmm. I remember being like, oh, I really want to get Bioshock Infinite, but came out at a bad time. So I, I completely understand that feeling of like when you get something that you're really looking forward to and you're like, okay, this is gonna last me like three months at least, and you play it and you're just like, Whoo, this, this is bad. Good. Yeah, I uh I remember getting hyperdimension Neptunia um on ps3 and that was the only game i had for a for a long while yeah. and uh and i platinumed it it's a terrible game but it was like all i could afford at the time oh, you do yeah <laughs> you all got those games and but it did open the door for me to to look into other obscure jrpgs and but but when i grabbed it i didn't expect it to kind of change my life that much um yeah. 
but that's my, you know, I, I, I grew up with Grand Theft Auto. I wasn't allowed to play it as a kid and on PlayStation. And I still did when my dad wasn't looking and stuff like that. Ooh. I was a bad boy. Unlike you. you were a bad boy. Oh, that's uh, why we're such a good team. Yeah. I'm the I'm good. The I'm, the, the, I'm the bad shoulder. cop. You're the devil on their shoulder. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Just a troll trying to get them. You're like, hey, 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 I know you're 14, but play Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Would your parents want that? Uh, pure, pure boy, Spencer. Um, yeah, so it was, it's, it's just kind of, it hurts the nostalgia factor of it all. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, I will give it this, the, the load times are a lot better than they used to be. <laughs> I would hope at the bare minimum, the bare minimum <laughs> that it has that going for the load it. times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but with that said, Spencer, yeah, give, give the listeners a game that they should, uh, check out. Now I've been mulling this over because, uh, I, I forget every episode. Mm-hmm. Let me do this because <laughs> I forget. It's okay. Um, I like it being the first game that comes to your head when I ask. Yeah. So I was uh, I was thinking like, what games do I have that I can recommend? And then I remember this one summer where I was so stoked to play Pokemon Ranger. <laughs> Did you ever play Pokemon Ranger? Is it a Spike Chon, a Spike Chon soft developed game or? No. It's hmm. the one where you go like this with your stylus. No, I've never... You uh you play as a Pokemon Ranger, so you don't catch Pokemon, you temporarily tame them. And to do that, you would draw a circle around them with your stylus as fast as you can. People damage their DSs playing this game. Made like marks and shit. But then you would use their abilities to solve environmental puzzles and to do stuff like that. And you know, Pokemon spin-offs vary, but I was thinking since since Diamond and Pearl are coming out this Friday. A little celebratory Pokemon suggestion. And I was like, what one would people not have played that I've played? Definitely Ranger. So I'd recommend trying Pokemon Ranger. It's a weird game. It's going to make your wrist really tired, but it's it's unique. And it's from a time where Nintendo was more willing to... Well, I can't say that anymore because Legends Arceus, Arceus is coming out. So they're willing to experiment again. But uh we had a kind of drought in experimentation from them so it's it's a look back at a time where they were like we'll make pokemon conquest poke park pokemon ranger pokemon troze pokemon yeah. dash the, 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 the funny thing about the pokemon games are that they aren't technically developed by nintendo yeah they're game freak and pokemon yeah, company they're game freak and game freak makes other games too which Old is Town hero blows my fucking mind Night, little town hero they are not a very good developer <laughs> like <laughs> they're kind of not they're they are good storytellers they they uh they that hit one, gold early on yeah they have a rogue dungeon crawler i forgot the name Is that of little it. Town hero? no it's like uh it's a it's a 2d action game um Anyway, it's on Switch and PC and stuff, but um, it's not Little Town Hero. Um, Giga, it's like Giga Wrecker Alts. That's the name of it. Okay. Yeah. Um, not a very good game. It's okay. It looks pretty, but uh, it's not a very good game. I'm telling you, they hit gold early, and they were like, they it had them made for life. Yeah, it's that. It's that. Uh. It's that gung ho fucking uh, puzzle dragon effect. You get you yeah. get your gold you get your gold mine and then you can just make whatever sh- off whatever shit comes want. with it to your head. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> um, when Pokemon is literally the most valuable brand ever, mm-hmm. you can just afford to make games that are okay because people will buy it. I would just I would you know if I was Pokemon company I in publishing these Pokemon games I would give them a little more money. That's all. Yeah, I'd be like, hey, can you... Or, or at least help them with some developers. Them? Or just buy them. Yeah, I'm shocked they haven't bought them. Yeah. That's there's pro- there's got to be some fucking paperwork behind there oh, for sure. a, a reason why they have not purchased Game Freak. Um, yeah. But it's interesting that Game Freak is still there. Yeah. Doing stuff. Um, so Pokemon Ranger is... Uh, yeah, it might not be the best one, but it's it's an interesting one. I'm going to say mm-hmm. that you should play a little game called Rogue Galaxy. Oh, on, I, wasn't that PS2? 
It's on PS2. It's also on the PSN on PlayStation 4. If you need to, if you want to play it through, mm-hmm. through, through there. Um, this is a level five developed game published by uh, Sony and it's a one-off. Um, it's a lot of, I, I remember at the time thinking that it was um, another dark cloud game yeah. because it's, it's made in like the uh, Dragon Quest eight uh, or yeah, eight um, engine. Uh, it just has that uh, cart- uh, cell shaded effect and cartoon effect, and it's just a turn based RPG. That's uh, I I I went through a period, a few periods in my life where it was like westerns. I really liked westerns, um, like Trigun. So, you have so many phases. You're like a Pokemon, is there? Yeah, you evolved from from scene <laughs> emo kid to COD kid to. <laughs> Oh, man, this is great. I've had a long life. So, but there was a time. Okay, so I I I used to really like like westerns. So uh your tri your tri guns, your cowboy bebops. I I love that style. And and then I got into pirates, and Ooh. it was like the the um at least back then it just felt like these games were releasing with me, like with my interests. Yeah. Um, so when this game came out, it definitely uh it, did, it was it was definitely cool. I I didn't play it. I think it came out at when I graduated uh, uh, high school, so it's like 2007. Um, but uh, I dated myself, didn't I? I'm sorry. I was like, I wasn't. I didn't graduate primary school at that point. Ah, oh, little little boy, little I boy was Spencer, eleven, <laughs> playing uh, Elmo's. Uh, Counting no, journey. I I had the choice between a real galaxy and Final Fantasy X. And I picked Final Fantasy X. And not a bad choice. Yeah. Not a bad, I would have picked that too. I would have picked that too. So um, so I'm gonna say Rogue Galaxy. It's it's accessible. It's also pretty cheap on PlayStation Two if you have a PlayStation Two sitting around. You right. can play it easy. And that's that. That's that. So fu- bag, fuck you, Grand Theft Auto. Fuck you, conversion rates. And get it and, together, folks. And yeah, and we're gonna oh, um, we're gonna be going to some events next year. That's Ooh. all I gotta say about that. Oh, yeah, 2022, 2020, 2022 is the year of Noisy Pixel. My goal is to have a live unqualified game chat. That'd be so fun. My goal is to have a panel at yeah. PAX. Unqualified game chat. That'd, That'd be great. That'd be so stupid and amazing. It would be. It'd be both those things. You know what? I thought I just made it up right now, but we're going to do our best to make it Comment happen. Comment if you want to see that. Comment if you want to see it. All right. Uh, and that's that. That's that. Bye. Bye, everyone.